Hi, I'm Karmi Shamas. I'm your astrologer. Today I will talk about Thursday, the 3rd of October. Today the moon is in Libra for the second consecutive day. This should be a very nice, very interesting day, very empowering day if you're an air sign, if you're Libra, if you're Gemini, if you're Aquarius in the second place, if you're a Leo, if you're Sagittarius. So how the, how's it going to be for all signs? Knowing that this moon will stay in Libra till Friday 11, 30. 30 a.m. universal time. So let's break down this thing. Aries, you may feel as if you have to comply to certain conditions, to certain rules. It seems that maybe your partner needs you to do better or to put more effort. This partner can be um, ha uh, related to work, to school, to friends, to maybe your partner in life. It can be anything. So you have to pay attention to whatever is going around. Don't risk anything. Just keep um, a smile on your face. I always say that because it kind of it softens any situation and definitely try to be flexible. Moving to Taurus, so it is a busy day. Uh, it's fine. There is something cooking, like you want to do something special, like you want to introduce something special to your daily life. This is great. Your schedule, your routine may change actually, and it could be to the better. Work on it and you will not regret it. Gemini, I love this beautiful, gorgeous day. It helps you to build more inner strength, more talents, more skills, and it shows, really it shows. There is something beautiful that will help you shine today you kind of look different maybe during the day something happens and you should feel great take it easy be optimistic you will enjoy the luckiest are those born on the 12th 13th of june cancer i know that this new moon is not that um not that easy, not that smooth. I know, I understand, but I, I'm sure that you can get over it. I know that you can do things fine, right? And I know that there is something that you want to introduce to your personal life. Maybe it's a decision and maybe it's acknowledging a certain fact and you want to uh, flow with it or maybe you want to work on it. It's up to you. Just stay as um, uh, not detached, but try not to be that emotional today. Drive carefully, stay away from trouble. If you were born between the 7th and the 9th of July. Leo, it is a busy day. I love it. I like it. There is something different that you want to introduce to your daily working system, studying system, your schedule, the way you it's everything related to your daily routine so maybe the way you walk the way you dress the way the time you wake up the time you want to go to sleep so it has something to do with these issues you can work on them and i think you will love this certain issue uh, maybe you want to move you're thinking about it it doesn't matter Moving to um, Virgo. Virgo, I love this day. It works or it, um, it uh, highlights certain emotional issues. Um, the way you think about yourself, try not to fall. Um, not, don't be a victim to people who try to manipulate your emotions. You have to be detached. You have to be neutral. You have to believe in yourself more than what others think and think and this is the beauty of this beautiful new moon it helps you to build more self-confidence and nothing will really shake you um, starting today moving to libra with the moon in yourself and in your sign and this is a new moon actually it's a new birthday it's a new chapter it's a new you if you want to take it like that so this is a beautiful gorgeous day totally empowered let it show, show, believe in yourself, show it, show it to yourself, prove it to yourself. You don't have to prove anything to anyone, just prove it to yourself. This is a new you to the better, to the better. There's a trine where from Jupiter to your sign, so to this moon. So this means that you're um, totally free and empowered to stretch your wings. The luckiest are those born on the 14th, 15th of October. Moving to Scorpio, although it's a slow day, but this new moon will help you to, um, to introspect, you know, to evaluate what's, what's good, what's not good, what's pushing you down, what's pulling you up. So try to evaluate these things, be uh, neutral about it, and uh, don't be emotional, be logical about it. And this is your way to resurface you know to come up to the surface with certain facts that will help you actually 
resolve the negative points and become stronger it is a slow day so double check on everything with venus in your sign you can be quite lucky if you were born uh, between the 2nd and the 4th of november moving to sagittarius sorry uh, sagittarius this is a lovely day quite um, quite bubbly, quite uh, friendly, quite uh, engaging, and you're definitely, you should be interested in engaging with the, the community if you want, um, because it helps you, it brings out the best in you. If you want, this is a chance. It is a good day. It is a positive day, nothing to worry about. You can be quite lucky if you were born on the 13th, 14th of December. As for Capricorn, I know it is not an easy day. It is quite demanding. It is quite heavy. And I think you can build some strength today. Maybe there is something cooking. Maybe it has something to do with your work, with your um, credentials, with your expertise. This is something good. Something new should come up. I hope for the better, meaning that do well and you'll get good results. As for Aquarius, definitely it is a beautiful day. A trine coming from Jupiter and two trines coming from this new moon. This means that Aquarians today are definitely people to be trusted because they're strong and empowered and they have a, you have a great amount of a uh, big load of good energy. So this is a very lucky day. As for Pisces, so this is your chance to make things right, to maybe to uh, reinvest, maybe to re-review, to re, um, recheck everything. Um, if you have to sign a deal, double check on it. Uh, don't flow with these people who try to push you to sign or to agree. Uh, be strong, be daring and ask for uh, some time to think about it. Maybe this should be the best. Let's wrap it up with born on the 2nd, born on the 3rd of October. This should be a very, very important year with an eclipse moving with you. This is a year where you should actually um, pull yourself up, be strong, um, take care of your um, of your mental health, of your physical health, of your um, expertise, of your everything that is really a foundation for you. So every resource that you have uh, may be or may not be eclipsed. So this is the challenge of this year. Be strong, believe in yourself, and definitely there is a new birthday for you. Something big is cooking for you, born on the 2nd and born on the 3rd of October. Wishing you all the best. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.